On Saturday, Federal Minister of Energy and Natural Resources Jonathan Wilkinson announced a $74 million investment into the development of small modular nuclear reactors. The reactors would generate between 200 and 300 megawatts, enough to power 300,000 homes. The hope is that SMRs will be part of the province's transition toward non-emitting energy over the next decade. The federal government says SMRs are part of its goal in getting to a net zero grid by 2035. Nuclear energy is going to be part of the energy mix of the future as we move towards a non-emitting grid. It is not a silver bullet. It's not going to be used everywhere uh, for everything. But it is absolutely something that, that many jurisdictions are going to rely on as part of their overall energy mix. No one from SAS Power or the provincial government was in attendance for Wilkinson's announcement. This comes after criticism from the Saskatchewan government that a net zero grid by 2035 is unrealistic and too expensive. The province is committed to getting there in 2050, 15 years later. In a statement to CBC, the provincial government says it did not have anyone at Saturday's announcement because, quote, the contribution agreement is currently being finalized by officials. The statement went on to say, the government of Saskatchewan maintains the expectation that the federal government contribute 75% of the cost of Saskatchewan's potential first SMR. While the $74 million contribution is welcome, it remains a small fraction of the investment that will be required for SAS Power to meet the federal government's clean electricity regulations. The statement also says significant financial support from the federal government is required for Saskatchewan to transition while maintaining a reliable electricity system, meeting the needs of a growing economy and keeping rates as affordable as possible. The opposition NDP says the government should have been at the announcement. What we've seen from this government is a pretty consistent pattern of behaviour and unfortunately it's leaving Saskatchewan. Uh, we're not even at the table, they have us sitting at the kids' table quite frankly. The funding from the federal government and the province's commitment to SMRs does not make them any closer to a reality. Last September, SAS Power announced it had chosen areas of the province as potential sites for SMRs, Elbow, near Lake Diefenbaker and Estevan. SAS Power says it will make a decision on whether to go ahead with SMRs in 2029. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.